According to the Bible, Jesus performed many miraculous deeds, and the majority are faith healings, exorcisms, resurrections, as well as displaying control over nature. Now, the word miracle is nowadays almost immediately associated with Jesus, even by non-Christians. How's it going, FTD Facts fam? My name is Leroy Kenton, and you're watching FTD Facts. This one is gonna take us on a journey looking at 10 miracles that were performed by Jesus in the Bible. So let's jump into this list. Starting with number 10, we have the healing of a woman. Now the miracle of the cure of a bleeding woman appears in the book of Mark chapter five, verses 21 to 43, as well as Matthew chapter nine, verses 18 to 26, and also Luke chapter eight, verses 40 to 56 along with the miracle of the daughter of Jairus. But the Bible states that while heading to Jairus' house, Jesus was approached by a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years and that she touched the fringes of his cloak and was instantly healed. So Jesus turned around and you know, the woman admitted that it was uh, her that did it. And Jesus says, wow, you know, daughter, your faith has healed you, go and be healed. The miracle at number nine has to do with the healing of the blind. The canonical gospels tell a number of stories of Jesus healing blind people. Now the earliest is a story of the healing of a blind man in Bethesda in the gospel of Mark. Now in Mark's gospel, there's also included an account of Jesus healing a man named Bartimaeus as he is leaving Jericho. The gospel of Matthew also has another account that is loosely based on this with two unnamed blind men instead of one. And it's also slightly different when it comes to the story details and it takes place earlier in the narrative in Galilee. Now the story of Jesus healing an unnamed blind man is repeated in the Gospel of Luke, but the event is moved to when Jesus approaches Jericho. The miracle at number eight that Jesus performed is exorcism at the synagogue. According to the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Jesus performed many exorcisms of demoniacs. Now, these incidents are not mentioned in the Gospel of John and appear to have been excluded due to theological considerations, maybe. Either way, one example is the exorcism at the synagogue in Capernaum, where Jesus exorcises an evil spirit who cries out, what do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. From there, let's take a look at the miracle at number seven, the resurrection of somebody who lost their life. All four canonical gospels describe the resurrection of Jesus. Three of them also relay a separate occasion on which Jesus calls a person who lost their life back to life. And one of these three people is the daughter of Jairus. So Jairus was a major patron of a synagogue and he asked Jesus to heal his daughter. But while Jesus is on the way, Jairus is told that his daughter had unfortunately passed away. Now Jesus informs him that she was only sleeping and wakes her up with the word Talitha kum, meaning maiden, I say unto thee, arise. Miracle at number six is turning water into wine. This is probably one of the most famous miracles of Jesus in the Bible, even to non-Christians. Turning water into wine at a wedding when the host runs out, the host's servants fill the vessels with water at Jesus' command, and then a sample and then a sample is drawn out and taken to the master of the banquet who pronounces that the content in the vessel is the best wine. Yeah, that must have been some really, really, really good wine. And uh, I love my wine, so I'm sure this would have been like, yeah, yeah, this is it. This had the magic touch of Jesus. Miracle at number five is a healing miracle. This one has to do with the healing of a man with dropsy. The healing of a man with a dropsy is described in the book of Luke chapter 14 verses 1 to 6. And in this miracle, Jesus cured a man with dropsy at the house of a very prominent Pharisee. And this took place on the Sabbath day. So Jesus had to justify this and he did so by asking, if one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, will you not immediately pull it out? Next up at number four, the exorcism of a boy. 
Exercising a boy possessed by a demon appears in the book of Matthew chapter 17 verses 14 to 21, Mark chapter 9 verses 14 to 29, and Luke chapter 9 verses 37 to 49. There was a boy that was possessed by a demon and he's brought before Jesus. Now, the boy is said to have been foaming at the mouth, he's gnashing his teeth, he becomes really, really, really angry, and he involuntarily falls both in the fire, when they light a fire, and also in water. And Jesus' followers, they could not cast out this demon, so Jesus, he condemned the people because they didn't believe, and then he asked the father of the child to bring the boy to him. But then the father brings the boy to Jesus and he asked if Jesus could heal the boy. And Jesus replied, everything is possible for those that believe. Now the father then says that he believes and of course the child is healed by Jesus. The miracle at number three is catching fish. This is a pretty interesting one. The miraculous catch of a fish takes place early in Jesus' ministry and results in St. Peter, St. Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, as well as John the Apostle joining Jesus as his apostles. The miracle similar to the miraculous catch of fish, but it's also called a catch of 103 fish to distinguish it from the account that is mentioned in the book of Luke. It's reported in the Gospel of John, but it takes place after the resurrection of Jesus. Next up, miracle at number two, calming a storm. Now, during a storm, the disciples, they wake up Jesus and he ends up rebuking the storm and he causes it to calm down. And uh, the disciples were rebuked by Jesus because they lacked faith and they were left marveling like, whoa, this man, Jesus can like talk to a storm and it listens to him. The final miracle in this episode coming in at number one, we have the healing a man with a withered hand. In the healing of the man with a withered hand miracle, the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, they state that Jesus entered a synagogue on the Sabbath and found a man with a withered hand there, whom he healed, having first challenged the people present there to decide what was lawful to do on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to eliminate life. Now the Gospel of Mark adds that this actually angered the Pharisees so much that they started contemplating how they would get rid of Jesus, you know, and his life, all because he healed somebody on the Sabbath day with a withered hand. So there you have it, guys. This was a look at 10 miracles that Jesus performed according to the Bible. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely it was a fun and very fascinating, interesting video. If you did make it this far, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Sound off down below in the comments section. Thanks for hanging out with me in another episode here on FTD Facts. You guys have been awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.